Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG HOA Ham. It wasn't that long ago the Chameleon Antenna provided me with a prototype antenna tuner system to use with various antennas and various types of transceivers. They had me put it through its paces and send my feedback to them, produce a video for you so you also could provide your feedback in the comments section. They've taken all of the input, finalized their specifications, and had it manufactured to their requirements. I recently saw on the Telegram social media site for Chameleon that it's in stock, it's at their warehouse, and they're getting it ready for distribution. So today I wanna to show you the completed model that's now ready to be introduced to you. The form factor is exactly like it was with the prototype unit, especially on this exterior unit. This is machined out of a solid piece of billet, not this back plate, but this box. That started as a solid chunk of aluminum, it was hollowed out all the intelligence, the capability, the components are installed in here that allow us to get a match with our transceivers. And then this back plate with a number of fasteners as well as seals and gaskets are applied to keep this completely weather tight. It's meant to be installed exterior to the home, to the QTH, to your place of business, wherever you intend to use this. It's meant to stand up to the weather. The bias T, the control box, the brains of the system, so to speak, of course, is going to be in your shack. And it too is the same size as the prototype unit that I tested. It has two LEDs. We'll talk about what they perform, what intelligence and information they provide for us as feedback. And then I do want you to see that this is designated as a CHA URT1. So I don't know if that means that there's a surprise after one for us somewhere down the road, perhaps for Poda Soda. I'm not in the know on that. I do know that this is meant to be uh, primarily as a permanent install at your QTH place of business, wherever you need any antenna match. That said, I am going to take this portable. I have an antenna system that I can't set up at my home because my backyard is too small living here in the HOA and I'm going to set up an antenna system that I think this would be a great fit for. So yeah, I'm going to use it portable. So we're going to go through and talk about all the transceivers that could, this could be used with. We're going to talk about all the antennas that this could be used with. I'm going to demonstrate it just like I did with the prototype because I just want to put this through its paces and make sure it's good gear for you. For those of you who learn by reading, all you need to do is follow the instruction manual that comes from Chameleon. For those of you who learn visually, well, let me help out with that and we'll do a top down and a side view. Starting with the top down, let's go outside. If you use a wire antenna, you're going to connect that to the beehive connector on the top of the tuner unit. If you're using an antenna that has a coax feed, then that coax run is going to come into this side of the external tuner. From this side of the external tuner, this is the coax that's going to run into your shack. And whether that's five feet, 10 feet, 50 feet, this is outside, you connect your coax here and run it into the shack, into the back side of the bias T control box where it says tuner. And then you take another piece of coax where it says transmitter and you run that to your HF transceiver. Let's get a look at this from the side and go through the same thing. We'll go in reverse from the transceiver. We come into the back of the bias T control box where it says transmitter. The back of this control box says tuner. So we're taking a long piece of coax, 5, 10, 50, 100 feet. We're running it out to this unit installed outside and we're connecting it. And then your antennas be a Kovacs feed would come here or a wire fed would go on the top beehive connector. During my prototype testing, you saw me connect this directly to the concrete block stucco wall of my home. Chameleon is providing with this, these brackets that can be installed and that's how I'm going to do it this time. And this would be particularly necessary when you're going on to a mast. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the back of the unit with the supplied hardware. And then, you know what we're gonna do next? We're going to go ahead and get outside and do some tuning and demonstration. Let's not take you through every step of the way here. It's self-explanatory. You're just taking the washer and the nut off of this screw and you're attaching this plate to the tuner itself. You're putting the screw through the front side of the tuner through the slot on the mounting plate, attaching your washer, attaching your nut and tightening those down. And you're doing that four times and then we're ready to go outside and do an install and start testing out the tuner. 
Here's the view from the back patio, looking up directly at my Cha Portamast. I use that Portamast to fly the American flag. I'm allowed to have a flagpole here in the HOA. My backyard is private property. You can't walk close enough to even see the wire hanging on this. So I have a compliant flagpole and I have an antenna wire hanging on it, which nobody sees. That wire comes down to a Cha Hybrid Micro and we'll see that here in a second when I open up that box. When I did the original testing for Chameleon, I did install the tuner here on the back wall, but I didn't have these chrome plated brackets. And now with these brackets, I did need to make one modification and add a whole location where there wasn't one previously. If this is my permanent install location, I'll add two holes to the bottom and firmly affix this to the wall. I'm going to do the configuration of my coax here like I already talked about here on the workbench. You could see I have a short pigtail already pre-attached to the bottom of the tuner. That's my coax connection because here in a minute, I'm going to take it over to the Cha Hybrid Micro and I'm going to attach it directly to the Cha Hybrid Micro, i.e. my coax fed antenna. And then that's my feed line in my hand right now. That's going back to my single point utility box on the side of the house, which goes into the shack. So the shack coax on the right side and the coax fed antenna on the left side. I'll have to come back out later and put some weatherproof tape on this because I don't want any water getting into my coax line. I'll leave a link to that video below where I installed that utility box on the side of my house because even if somebody looks at the side of my house, they don't see that Cha Hybrid Micro. They see a utility box, which wouldn't be unusual here at my home. Be sure to follow the instructions as provided by Chameleon Antenna for setting up this tuner system. If you see me doing anything different, it's because my operating conditions vary slightly here at my QTH. For example, my grounding is around the corner of my house to where I installed this tuner, and that's where all my station grounding occurs. I don't use radials only because here in the HOA, I try not to put them out so they are visible or my lawn guy runs over them. That's not best case, it's best case to use radials when your antenna requires it, so make sure you go with best case. When you turn on your system in the shack, you're going to see the green light come on the tuner and that means it is operating correctly. If you get an error message, it means you have something set up incorrectly. Again, refer to Chameleon's instructions on this. What I want you to notice on my FX4CR in the top left-hand corner, you see I'm in FM mode and then you see me just checking my power level to make sure as I transmit that I'm in a power range that's recommended for tuning. In my particular case, by the time I'm done pressing the tune button and I go to key up on the mic, the tuner's already finished processing. It's already found a match and my SWR is in an acceptable level. Because this tuner had no problem finding a match for my wire antenna connected to the Cha Hybrid Mini, I decided to take the wire and attach it directly to the beehive on the top of the tuner itself. Let's give it a bit more of a challenge, and you can see as I cycle through all the bands, once again, not a challenge at all. This tuner handles it all with ease. Let's talk about the specific HF rigs you can use this with. Now, when I first did my original introduction video, I talked about how excited I was to use this with my FX4CR. I got really excited about this tuner because I could finally sit in my shack and use any of my favorite radios that don't have internal tuners, my IC705, my FX4CR. Well, this goes across all radios. It doesn't matter whether your radio is a 7300, a 991A, or whatever's in your shack. It doesn't matter if it has an internal tuner or not. Turn off your internal tuner and this can be your main shack antenna tuner system. For me, I can use it with any one of my HF rigs without any problem whatsoever. What about the antennas that you can use this with? Well, again, when I did my original testing, I threw everything at this that I possibly could. Everything that was in my arsenal, it had no problems. I couldn't challenge it to where it couldn't do the job. And the same is true now. So whether it's a wire antenna with my Cha Hybrid Mini, whether it's directly connected to the top of the Beehive connector, whether I take this and I put it on the mast, I actually put the tuner on a mast and I put my wire then down towards the ground. It really doesn't matter what I do here at my QTH with this tuner, it just gets the job done. 
Before I give my concluding comment, I know this question is going to come up, so let me answer it in advance. Can I keep two antennas attached to this at the same time? And the answer is no, you can't. It won't function that way. What I mean by that is you can't have an antenna that requires a coax connection and you have it connected to the bottom coax feed and an antenna connected to the top beehive connector at the same time. It is not a both and, it's an either or. One antenna at a time, either on the beehive or on the coax feed on the bottom side. My final thought is, it works. So if you're looking for an antenna tuner system that can be the main item in your shack for getting to match across all antennas and all transceivers, here it is. If you're looking for something that you can dedicate to your QRP transceivers, here it is. And in some coming weeks, you'll see me use this portable with another antenna system. So if you do want to take it portable, have at it. I hope you found this useful, friend. I'll talk to you soon. 73.